Hello all, it's the 14th of February 2017, Dan here from Essex United Kingdom. So as my long term viewers know, I took over this allotment late summer, early autumn last year and I haven't done too much to it over the, over the winter period apart from enrich the soil. Now um, I wanted to do this no dig simply because I believe that uh, soil needs to be consistently rebuilt, it needs to be consistently um, added to, not just taken away from. Um, my long term viewers will be sick of me saying this but uh, one way to describe this better is if you look behind a plough in a field when a farmer's ploughing the field, look behind now you don't see so many birds behind and seagulls and stuff like that eating the eating the worms like they once did and this is because the worm content in the soil can indicate uh, the soil quality and of course uh, if soil is consistently taken from and then nothing is added to it or not too much added to it then the soil quality over time will diminish so this is one way that you can keep your soil quality good is to consistently add to it so let me show you what's happened now you may remember if you've been following my channel i uploaded a video last year called autumn allotment jobs if uh, you know if you haven't seen it or want to see it again just plug into youtube autumn allotment jobs and you'll see what i did but um i took over this allotment and i didn't bother um you know taking the top layer of soil off like many people do simply because that's about the worst thing you can do because that's where a lot of the nutrients are so what i did was i covered it with some cardboard um and in fact i believe under the cardboard or either on top i can't exactly remember but what i did was i put some organic matter such as leaves and i also put some grass as well to let that uh, mulch down and then what i've done is this has come out of someone's compost bin today Nice uh, worms there, look. This is out of someone's compost bin and I've put it here, over the top of the cardboard. So I'm going to grow some stuff here. Too early to put, um, you know, things in now. But um, I'm thinking of maybe courgettes or some sweet corn, something, or maybe even both, I don't know. I have even thought about putting courgettes on the ground with some sweet corn and growing runner beans up the sweet corn in order to maximise space. But this is just uh, one thing that uh, I wanted I wanted to do. So this is another thing I've done here. I put some wood chip down around my gooseberries. You can, they're obviously dormant, so I haven't got any leaves on. But this is, this is Hin and Mackie Green. This is Hin and Mackie Green, Hin and Mackie Red, and Hin and Mackie Red. I believe these came from some sort of um, budget place a few years ago. But so these readily grow from cuttings. I have got a video how to take a gooseberry cutting. Um, just plug that into YouTube if you're interested, because now is the uh, time of year to do that. So all coming on well now i wanted to just uh, you know dig this over really simply for some exercise and um, i'm not going to just plant straight into this i'm going to enrich it to no dig style but uh, you see here i've dug down here look there's no real worms present or anything in this soil and it's powdery you know not particularly uh, nutrient dense or anything so i feel the need to enrich it some more i'm not going to do it now because it's getting dark now people are obviously thinking well how am i going to get hold of this uh, you know this compost of course uh, that is an issue but uh, what you want to get you know doing over a period of time is making your own compost from your own grass cuttings leaves as long as they're suitable um, kitchen waste waste vegetables um, you know the parts of the vegetables that you don't necessarily eat at the end of the year you can <coughs> excuse me you can you know chuck them in a pile in fact uh, we'll go over there now and have a look so yeah this is a lot of this is old vegetation bits and bobs from last year you know we're keeping it and using it as uh, enrichment you can see there's a, some sort of brassica sprout maybe a stem there some of the old sweet corn as well and uh, under here is a pond liner covered it up with there you go worm there this is once again another no dig but uh, old vegetable matter you can see there has been chucked down and this is uh, going to be very nutrient dense soil cover it over so working on the bays so this bay here is going to be further enriched going to leave this mulch of course the uh, wood chip is great to walk on because these are going to get bigger and uh, you know for picking etc etc and uh, the wood chip will also help to hold moisture and this one here this is just a walkway I've got two red currant bushes here um, no they're not they're black currant bushes sorry two I've got osier bean and baldwin 
I forget which is which, but it is all documented on my other videos if you are interested. So here we go, this is another bay. Now I've got this covered up at the moment. You know, I've got my bricks there, and block paving, and some wood, and this, there, and the other to keep this over. But uh, let's have a look what I've got underneath here. Right, there you go, organic matter. So what's going to happen here, you can look at this as another form of almost like on the job composting if you will, you know. But I'm going to once again get some cardboard and probably chuck some organic matter over the top such as this. So people are saying where can they get their um, you know, organic matter from and I said you know you want to get in the process get in the habit of making your own and then every year you can add to it and you know you if you organize yourself properly you can have some every year but um, of course when you're starting off initially that uh, can be a problem because you don't have access to any now of course there's several options one option is you can simply buy organic compost to put on the top um, that could get expensive unless you can find a budget you know like a closing down nursery or a farmer who's got loads of compost he wants rid of you know if you find a composting place you know you might be able to get a load of it cheap there you might be get it dropped off um, the other option of course is maybe if there's other people at the allotment who compost which they're probably you know hopefully more than likely is <clears throat> you could maybe ask you know ask if you can exchange some fruit and veg for them with you know in exchange for some compost you could even uh, offer them a little bit of a pretty penny I don't know it's up to you however you want to do it but uh, either way you want to find a way of doing it because you know I've created these beds um, and you haven't haven't dug haven't dug this one here and of course digging is is great exercise but it's quite often unnecessary and um, it's not necessarily good for the soil it can be satisfying I do agree when you see the soil turned over and it looks good but then people what they do to enrich it is they then go and chuck a load of uh, artificial stuff on which I'm not convinced is necessarily the way to go of course there is a place for that but uh, you know that place has to be you know, where it's meant to be so I've got another bay soon and once again I'm going to be putting some cardboard over this uh, and turning this into another no dig bed or I may even avoid using the cardboard altogether and I may just uh, put some organic compost over the top. So these are the projects, these are the plans and the allotment's coming on quite well in my opinion. This bath here, I'm probably going to use this for... Um, you know, worms, a worm bench or something like that, worm, uh, not worm bench, you know, for the worm juice, which is great to, again. Now, for some people in my autumn allotment video, they didn't necessarily approve of a lot of the stuff that I'm doing down here, because one person said it looked like a rubbish tip. Well, it probably did, and parts of it probably do. But uh, I think uh, most people out there could see what I'm working on, and um, I believe it will be worth this because I think it will produce superior crops and of course if I regularly put uploads up you guys will then see what it can uh, what can be achieved so that's your no dig allotment update for the spring early spring if you want to call it that late winter one bay there and that bay there already okay then I hope everybody out there is doing well take care and speak soon